Hi everybody, it's Diego from Codex. Welcome to the second video of our Arduino course. Last day we created a simple LED circuit and today we're going to create a circuit with multiple LEDs and after that we're going to code them, okay? So if you're ready, let's get started. There are two ways to connect several LEDs. One is parallel connection and the other one is series connection. We're going to have a look at them. In a series connection, the components are connected end to end, forming a single path. Let's follow the path. It starts here. We go to the negative rail. Here we come across this jump wire, LED. Now this jump wire, LED, this jump wire, LED. Remember these rows are like the, the, the same connection, all the holes, all the pins are connected to each other. So from here, jump a wire to the positive rail and we go to the 5 volts. You might have noticed there are no resistors here and that's because when the LEDs are connected in series, they are applying resistance, all of them are applying resistance to the circuit, so there's no need to use a resistor and you might see that they do not glow intensely, as they do in a parallel connection. In a parallel connection, all the components are connected between two electrically common points. So we have several paths. One is this one, that goes through the first LED, then the resistor, and finally to the 5 volts. We have another path going through this LED and this resistor, and the third path through, through the third LED and resistor, okay? As you see, here I have my three LEDs, my breadboard and my Arduino board. I'm gonna connect them in, in series first. So as we said, the anode to the cathode, the anode to the cathode, and this one will go to the, to the five volts. And this cathode to the ground pin. I'm going to start simulation and note they glow with very little intensity. Now let's try a parallel circuit. Remember the anode must go to the to the voltage pin. This time the intensity is much higher. Here we have all the components. Let's create a series circuit. I'm just going to use two LEDs. One and two. As you see, the, the anode of this LED is connected to the cathode of this one. So one cable So one cable from this cathode to the ground pin and one cable from this anode, hope you can see it, to the 5 volts. Let's connect it. As you see, Two LEDs in series without any resistors and they do not glow intensely. If I put a third LED, it wouldn't probably work because this is not enough power. Let's try it out. Third LED here. And as I've told you, it doesn't work and it is well connected. Now let's see what happens with a parallel circuit. Three LEDs, I'm going to put the anode, the longer lead to the right I'm gonna do this to avoid using so many wires directly from uh, from the anode to the positive rail
So this time we have a parallel circuit, okay? There are two electrically common points, which is that rail and this rail. And you can clearly see they glow more intensely in spite of having three LEDs and three resistors. In the series circuit, we only had two LEDs and no resistors. But if we want to code these pins, they mustn't be connected to the 5 volt, but to digital pins. So we're gonna change the structure of it, as the digital pins are located in the upper part of the Arduino board. We're going to take the, the anode to that side and the, the cathode to these ground pins. You could obviously do it another way, but you would need longer wires. So this first LED is uh, number five, this one is number six, and this one is number seven. So as I told you in the Arduino on Tinkercad video that you have up here, we have to click on code to, to create a very basic program. Basically high means on, turn on, and low means turn off. So we're going to turn on, we're gonna wait for a second, and now we're gonna turn off. Here in Tinkercad, this happens forever. That's why we don't have a forever loop. So we can directly start simulation and this will happen forever, okay? So as you see, it works. And now let's try it out in Mblock 5. And Block 5 is a coding platform based on Scratch, and I recommend downloading and Block Desktop version for Windows or Mac, depending on your on your laptop or computer. If we're going to be working on Arduino, the first thing we have to do is add here in Devices tab Arduino. Owner. In my case, it is already downloaded. That's why I don't have this this green symbol here. So I just have to to click and press OK. If you have this symbol here, first of all, you have to click on the symbol to download it. I can obviously remove Cody because we're gonna, we're not gonna use it. And now in Arduino, I'm gonna make the same simple program I have done in Tinkercad. So seven, six, and five to high. Wait for a second. And now set those digital pins as low. What event are we gonna use? Look, if we're working on upload mode, that means we're going to upload this code to the Arduino board. So the only event that it can use is when Arduino Uno starts up. And whenever it starts, this is going to be running forever. Here we have to, to put it. The other option is live. In live, the board has to be connected to the computer. If not, it wouldn't work. You cannot use this block, but you can use the others. For example, when green flag clicked. And now we're going to connect the anodes of the LEDs to the digital pins numbers five, six, and seven. So I'm going to rotate it so they are closer to the pins. Please note the anode, the longer lead, now is on the left side because I have rotated it. And now on this side, all the cathodes to the negative rail. and to the ground.
And now after plugging in your board to the computer, you click on connect, click on show all connectable devices and connect. As you see, it requires to update the firmware. And once it is updated, it says the device has been disconnected, so you have to connect it again. So now it is connected and updated. Whatever you do here will immediately happen on the board. And as you see, it works perfectly. I hope you guys liked this video, try it out at home, tell me any problems you have and see you next time. Bye bye!